Yeah. Hello. I'm getting interviewed for a documentary they're making on the Lillian. My apartment building? Yeah. You know they're tearing the place down. But I'm right in the middle of that thing. Can I call you back? I'm Kevin Cameron. I've lived here for seven years. Probably my red wall is my favorite feature. Red wall. Yeah, I am kind of proud of the holes in the walls. You have to be invested in your living space. And I think that a lot of people aren't invested in their living space. People are so busy working and paying outrageous rent that they can't put their time or thought into art or music or anything because it's just not accessible. And it's like, you know, an integral part of art and, and music or anything is cheap rent. It's almost legendary through the like, arts community and music community because it's just like one of those buildings that a lot of people have lived in at one point or they know of somebody that lives here or has lived here. The Lillian was here when people like me needed it and a lot of people my age needed it when they were 24, 25, 26, 27. I pretty much thank the Lillian for giving me cheap rent for four and a half years. It's probably one of the main reasons why I was able to start my own business. The activists from the community called us and told us about uh, the fact that Paul Allen was abandoning the building. Uh, the plans are being undertaken by Paul Allen, the, one of the world's wealthiest men. Uh, if anyone symbolizes the kind of gentrification and redevelopment that we're seeing, he does in his development company. What would you do if you were him? I can't imagine being Paul Allen. <laughs> I'm not sure if Paul Allen can imagine being Paul Allen either, so. Yeah. Just a guy who got really lucky and suddenly had billions of dollars. You know, I was unpacking everything and I was thinking, I wonder if I am going to be the last tenant in this in this very room. Like, this building's been around for a hundred years, and I'm sure it's seen so many people. Uh, just a, such a long line of people that have been here, so many different stories, and and I'm going to be the probably the very last one. And I know now I am going to be the very last one. And um, I, at that point, I, I realized. I, I, I started giving my apartment a little extra love, just like some last love from the last tenant. Right. So, you know, I definitely talk to inanimate objects and I definitely talk to my apartment. It's It had that kind of old industrial feel and that's what I liked about it. It had some history. Because Seattle really doesn't preserve that. That they're much more apt to tear something down and rebuild than than to remodel. And uh, and I like being around that. I like being buildings that have ghosts that, that you just you can look down that hall and know that in 20 somebody was walking down it. I like that feel and I like being around that. I guess it's like buying a, a pair of, of black shoes at a thrift store. They're all beat up. And you just put, sort of can imagine what they look like with polish on them. Right. That's when I see the Lillian, I think of that. 